Hello, welcome to World Learning. Um, I'm sitting here, my name is Radmila Popovich and I'm one of the course designers and part of World Learning. And I'm sitting here with my colleague, Herman Gomez, uh, who's a teacher training specialist, right? Yes. Working, also working with World Learning. And here we have our practice talking about different articles or things that we have read or heard. Um, and I found an interesting article, Teaching Grammar Through Community Issues. And I know that Herman did quite a lot of work um, in Guatemala. Um, yes. Yeah. So, have you ever taught grammar through community issues, Herman? Uh, yes, I actually had a chance to, uh, to work grammar through different community issues. And one specific example that comes to mind is uh, one time when I had to uh, we had to work with an article. Uh, it was a reading passage, actually, on uh, working from home, telecommuting, as it was called back a few years ago. Um, and uh, I remember that that particular reading was really interesting, simply because we also had the same that same problem in Guatemala City. I was teaching a lot of adult learners, professional adult learners, who would usually have to drive to work and and back home, and it would take them about from three to four hours to, to get home and to get to work. And so one of the solutions that we were talking about was to actually, for companies to actually give the, the chance to, for a lot of their uh, employees to work from home. And uh, so um, I had a lesson based on the reading and then a prior, conver uh, a post conversation uh, about the possible benefits and also the cons of uh, working from home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was back in, in the days when telecommuting wasn't such a f frequent That's right, phenomenon, yes, yeah. right? And we're talking about uh, maybe like 15 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and still in a lot of big cities, um, there are many companies, especially where I was living, that are not really, uh, or haven't really you know, been uh, sold into that idea of allowing employees to work mm -hmm. from home. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, and how, where does grammar come in? Did you did you just talk about it? Did you teach grammar? Well, uh, one, one of the connect? interesting things here grammar. is that uh, the issue was so relevant to the community that um, they had a lot of opinions. And um, in the conversation after the reading and thinking, you know, how would this help you? What, you know, think about it. You know, what would it be like if you were able to work from home? Uh, we actually had a really great uh, opportunity to work the second conditional. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of them said things, for example, like, you know, if I could work from home, I would be able to spend more time with my family because I, uh, I wouldn't need to drive in for two hours mm -hmm. uh, if my company allowed me to work from home, etc. So um, we did work a little bit of, we are actually working in the unit with the second conditional and I think that prompted a very sort of natural context in which the students were able to use what they had learned yeah. in the, the grammar and, uh, and highlighting that part. Was that article on tele telecommuting uh, in the course book you were using? Actually it was not. I mm -hmm. had to sort of uh, supplement it from another uh, um, book that I had. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So in a way, you, you so you had to source, right? I had to source, yeah. So you supplemented. Did you have to reject something from the uh, I actually rejected the article that they had in the book. The article they had in the book was about uh, um, uh, the workplace environment, mm -hmm. and um, you know it really wasn't really interesting to the to the to the students. And the other article that uh, that you know I had in available in the unit. Uh, had to do with sports and uh, they really weren't interested in that also. So. Mm -hmm. so what are the benefits of such an approach? So you sourced your course yeah. book mm -hmm. and you you focused on the grammar point yeah. that naturally in, uh, evolved out of the article you selected. I think the, 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 the big benefits, number one is that uh, through sourcing um, I actually prompted learning that was meaningful for my students mm -hmm. and prompted a conversation and a topic that they had that had great relevance to their uh, daily life. Uh, and at the same time, sourcing allowed me to uh, actually get them to use the grammar point in this case in context. Mm -hmm. And it also 
I, I met the objectives of the unit, uh, mm -hmm. sort of like the skeletal objectives were met uh, through a different avenue, but uh, something that was more interesting to them. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very, very, very important and very rele relevant. Uh, so it's, it's grammar in, in the community-oriented English language teaching, That's right. right? More relevant for students. Yeah.